lift me up, now I'm set apart From the ash I am born again Forever safe in the Savior's hands You are more than my words can say I'll follow you, Lord, for all my days I'll fix my eyes following your ways Forever free in unending grace Cause you are Your love be the shining light Breaking chains that were holding me You sent your son down and set me free Cause you are, you are, you are my freedom We lift you higher, lift you higher
be kind is because if we compliment someone, they might compliment another person, then another person, and then it will create a change. If you are kind, people will act kind to you back. They feel loved, cared, and they also feel like they're part of the community. Why I am kind is because I show respect to others, and I am happy too. I want to be kind because Jesus is always kind to everyone, and I want to be like him. I also want to treat others the way I want to be treated. I think it's important to be kind because when you're kind, it always comes back to you in a different way. Be kind to others because if you're kind to others, you will be forgiven easily and you will be treated the way you want to be treated. You also need to be kind to others because God has been kind to us and forgave us. So we need to do the same to others, even though it's very hard. Why am I kind? Because they can be happy. It makes me happy. Bye. Hi, good morning, children. How have you been? I'm so excited. Today is such a very nice place. My favorite Universal Studios finally open. Yes! Excited to your hearts content with me. Yeah! After the long pandemic, the church is finally open. Yes! I will continue to pray for worship and stay healthy and well. We keep talking about kindness. Yeah! Let's think about kindness once again about our closest neighbors. Who is our neighbor? Let's do right first and then let's think about it. Yeah, let's go! Whoa! God's story, the Good Samaritan. So part of God's story is about a Good Samaritan. And it goes like this. When Jesus lived on earth, he often told stories to teach us things. Stories that teach a lesson are called parables. One day, Jesus told a parable about a good guy from a place called Samaria, a good Samaritan, to a group of Jewish people. It all started when a Jewish expert in the law asked Jesus, what must I do to receive eternal life? Basically, he was asking, what do I have to do to be perfect? Since this guy was an expert in the law, he thought he already knew how to be perfect because he knew all the rules. He just wanted to see what Jesus would say. Of course, Jesus knew what the man was thinking, so he asked him, what is written in the law? The man said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as you love yourself. So he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus answered him by telling this story. A man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Everybody listening was Jewish, and they could probably all picture the exact road Jesus was talking about. He continued, a priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. You might expect a priest who was supposed to serve God to help, but he didn't stop. Then Jesus said, a Levite came to the place and saw him, but he passed by on the other side too. Levites were assistants to priests, so maybe you'd expect them to help too, but he didn't stop either. Finally, Jesus said, a Samaritan came along. Remember, a Samaritan is a person from Samaria. That's near Israel, where God's family, the Jews, lived. But here's the thing, Jews and Samaritans didn't get along. In fact, nobody hearing this story would ever expect a Samaritan to help, because Samaritans and Jews couldn't stand each other. But Jesus said, when the Samaritan saw the man, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day, he took out money and gave it to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will pay you back for any extra expense you have. Then Jesus asked, which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law didn't even want to say the word Samaritan, but he admitted the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. In other words, go and love everyone, even people we don't like or people who everybody else wants to avoid. See, when we show love, we're obeying Jesus. Obeying God doesn't mean just doing what his rules say. It means loving him more than anything and showing his love to every single person that we meet. And that's the story of the Good Samaritan.
Hey, right, children, who is your neighbor? Jesus' story made it very clear, right? Anyone you will ever meet is your neighbor. We shouldn't just show kindness to people who are like us. We should show kindness to everyone we meet. It's important for us to show kindness to other people because everyone is important to God. Everyone is valuable to Him. That's true about people who are similar to you. And it's also true about people who are very different from you, children. We need to remember this. Be kind to people who are different from you. Amen. We can look at the way Jesus lives the sea, how He showed kindness to everyone. He hung out with, with people who others had forgotten and people who were sick and people who had done wrong things in the past. It, it's like a troublemaker, right? Jesus even made Samaritan, the hero of the story we told today, someone who most Jewish people would have we have seen as an enemy and when Jesus dies on the cross children this is a really good point he did it for everyone not just for the Jewish people not just for the Christian children we should show kindness to every person we met just like Jesus did you can show how much you love God by the way you treat others amen children everyone who needs to you to show them God's love is your neighbor whether they looks like you or not or act like you or not or believe like you or not amen ask God to help us to show that kind of kindness that's really important Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for showing us what kindness looks like through your son Jesus. Thank you for this story that reminds us to be kind to the people who aren't like us. Please help us to see everyone we meet as a neighbor. Help us to show them that they are valuable by the way we treat them. We love you and we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's head to small group now and talk about how we can show kindness to everyone. Amen. Bye. We see you next week.